But if you've never tithed before, I want to say this to you. Come on and activate your faith because that's a big part of what tithing is. I talked with my bishop while I was out of town on this subject. And we had a great conversation. He, and he encouraged me tremendously in this teaching. And he said, Chris, tithing is not only an issue of worship, but it's also an issue of maturity and building your faith. It's also an issue of maturity and building your faith. So encourage the people of God to go ahead and step out there and begin to trust God and believe God because it'll build your faith. One thing that we learned is that money is actually the lowest form of wealth. Even though this world scrambles for it, especially for those of us who don't have a lot of money, we've been a whole life trying to obtain the lowest form of wealth on the planet. Hear me clearly, the lowest form of wealth on the planet is money. If I were to put a scale there up on the screen for you or here, it would be money, and then you can maybe add on some property, you know, different levels of assets, so you finally get to human life, which is the absolute top, most wealthy and valuable thing on the planet. Now, we live in a world where it's just the opposite. Human life is at the bottom, and money is at the top. And so what trusting God in this way does for us, it helps us to flip the chart and realize what's most valuable to God. And it's life, our own life, my wife, my children, my grandchildren, people, lives. You say, tithing does that? Yes, because it takes my focus off of how much money is left over to I must trust God with what? Not my money, my life. I feel his presence. I'm trusting him with my life. That's what it's about. So it's a worship to him. So it goes beyond just my words saying I trust you with my life, but now in a physical, tangible way, I'm literally putting my life on the line. That God, you know this is a sacrifice. Or oh, I may have never done this before, but I'm trusting you. You see all the bills I got. You see all the responsibilities I have. But God, now I'm trusting you with my life. That with the 90% that's left over, you're going to cause that to go further than it would have if I had tried to manage all 100%. If I tried to manage it all myself, I'm limited. It only goes so far, but when I trust you and I honor you, then I'm just, anybody can testimonies in the room, then God, something happens, and it doesn't add up, but somehow what's left over covers whatever is due. I don't know how, but he does it. And it ain't got nothing to do with that preacher. It ain't got nothing to do with that church. It's just between me and God as to what he's doing in me. Because when I start trusting God with the lowest form of wealth, then I'm telling you something happens in our faith that when issues come up, and here's what money does. This is the lessons we learn when we trust God with our money. Then we, our faith starts getting built up for the things that money can't solve. Anybody got some stuff going on in your life that money can't solve? Money cannot help that loved one that's in the hospital. Money cannot help with that person that's about to go to jail unfairly. Money cannot help with the relationships that's broken between a husband and a wife or siblings. So when you have to start dealing with stuff that money can't solve, the faith is there to believe God because we watch God do something with the lowest form of wealth. So now when it comes to the highest form of wealth, which is lives and people, I can believe him. I can trust him because he proved himself. Come on, bless the Lord right now. Thank you, Lord God. So I'm just honoring him with my possessions and with the first fruit of my increase, not only because of how it's going to increase my barns and the, and the vats of wine and all of that, but because of what he's going to do in my faith. 
he does something wonderful in my faith. And it helps me to take my eyes off of the corruption going on in the church. And all those preachers that ain't right. And all those members that are hypocrites. Aren't you glad when that happens to you in your life? And for some reason, honoring God in this way puts our, gets our focus off of that stuff. And off of that junk. And off of that hypocrisy. And we're just trusting God. Come on, bless him in this room today. Thank you, Lord. This is probably the greatest benefit more than anything else when it comes to honoring God in this way. Thank you, Lord God. I never thought the day would come when you get a hand and, and see people praising God in Harrisburg as somebody talks about tithing and giving offerings. But it changes us when we get God's perspective on it. That's what he's after.